here's some of the uh, wax that I've made. Maybe you can see this. My camera setup is not very good. Uh, maybe you can see this. That's the wax there with the olive oil. The ingredients. I'm just. There's a slight crust to it, but the temperature is quite warm today. It's about 26, 27. It smells nice. Um, just hoping that'll be okay to use. Now, I'm going to apply this to some pine. See how quickly it sort of bit soaks in. Smells okay. see that we'll see what happens so that's a new a new piece of mine uh, pine really maybe a, a year old or something like that this one is um, I'm quite interested in doing this is an old very old it's 1960 65 if I remember rightly 68 pine uh, it'll be interesting to just see what happens with this <laughs> got a sprint already We can use it. I could use a use a rag, but um, we'll see what happens with that. So there's a piece of old pine, 1968. Now, I'm not really sure the location of the camera. Let me see. There's some ply. Not sure about using ply really. I'm not that keen on it. But there you go. This is a, an old chopping board, you can see. For some reason, it's all just starting to split. It's not very good. It doesn't seem to. Oh, okay. I was just about to say, it doesn't seem to soak into this one so much. I'm not sure what it would be. What sort of wood, maybe? It's a beach or something like this. I'm not sure. Here's that one. Um, what I would try to do is see what it react like to this paint. Gives a nice shine to it. But that'll probably all soak in and um, disappear. I wonder if you can see that. Maybe I should have got somebody else to help me really with the uh, camera work. These are the uh, pieces of um, wood. From the olive tree in our garden, uh, what we do, we strip it down every year, take out the old, the old wood really, uh, then take it up to Passata, which is just up the road, and all the leaves go to the uh, the goats, which obviously um, produce the halloumi, which we um, we get from down here at which is uh, five minutes away. There's a lovely mill down there, which actually processes the olive oil. Uh, I think it's actually it's quite useful just having the um, the wax on your fingers. It's easier to apply instead of you know a rag or something. Next three. There's an old piece of olive. That's again. On the back of this, there's um, an artist in the village, uh, Ardennes, and. Um, he does all the icons for the church. Yeah, that's quite quite pretty. I think uh, the paint, the gold leaf there has just come off a little bit. But we'll see what that happens. Some more uh, uh, comboloid beads that I make. It's easy just to actually do that. Quite. Whether they stay shiny or not, I don't know. It might take a little bit of time to soak in. earrings which are made yeah it looks nice shiny um, but I think the, the next stage obviously will be to soak in I did read somewhere you should leave it for at least 12 hours 12 hours to um, soak in then apply another coat 
and that's bringing the colour out straight away. And I think these have actually got a coating of wax on them anyway, from how they're, you know, obviously the development of the gourd. But look at that, that's putting them varnish straight away. But we'll see what happens when it, um, I'm not sure you can actually see it. It looks nice. Obviously, it's uh, oily and wax. But we'll see. Give it time. This is uh, the honey which I can get from the village. Abundance of honey. This will be interesting. The honey smells nice. Uh, the wax smells nice and the oil smells nice. But these shoes, not very good. <laughs> Take my word for it. Uh, applying that to there. Maybe I ought to do this through the wife's shoes. Just make out that I've gone out shopping and bought her another nice shoes. Just shine them up. I think that's a bit of suede there. I know this is leather, but I think that might be suede, so I'm not really sure how that's going to react to that. It's made it look darker. Yeah, it feels like a suede. <laughs> Been wearing them for years and never noticed. One good thing I like about this really is um good for your hands. So there's that shoe there. I can still see that's quite greasy or oily looking, but we we'll just have a bit of time. I'll do the next video and try to um, see what happens. This is a very old piece. This is a part of the display stand I use. This is an olive, stripped it back, all the, taken all the old bark off. It does look nice, I must admit, just uh, just the shine on it, but I'm not sure if it's going to stay like that. We'll see. I've actually got some on the base here, I know that's quite, I want to keep one separate. Olive pieces here. There yeah, that goes. And that's it, really. Uh, this base. Put some on this base here. They may need a, another coat actually, so we'll see. Get this bit right later. Anyway, that's it, folks, for a little while, and just uh, I'll come back. Give it an hour or something like this just to see what happens and um, I'll let you know.